Hi everybody, it's Diane. Well, um, most of you know um, that I did a live stream yesterday to discover the new island, Bone Island. That's what you see here, Bone Island, in our My Singing Monsters game. So I had decided that the first players to light my first torches, um, my brand new torches on Bone Island, that I would do a review of their of one of their islands. And so I asked all the players to give me their game name, their friend code, and their island that they would like me to review. So I've only heard from three players so far, uh, Siphonic, Wabats, and Number One Loser, um, are the only three that have given me all three pieces of information. Game name, friend code, and which island they want to have uh, reviewed. Obviously, some of them have in their game name, their friend code is included in their game name, which is very convenient, and I could go in there into their game, but I have no idea which island they would like me to see. So I'm going to open my game. I'm going to do my first review today. Um, Wabats was the first one to give me his information. Um, so I'll be doing his review first, and then I will be doing a number one loser second, and Saphonic um, third. Oh, it sounds like I don't have any volume, volume. I'm gonna need some volume. I'll turn that up probably a little bit later also. Um, so then the other thing that I wanted to tell you, oops. Uh, oh, this is my ethereal island, is it cool? One of my favorite islands. I really love the new Bone Island. Let's go look at that real quick. Um, Bone Island. There's the newest island. Um, it's been here for a little while. I'm just, had been away from my game and so now I'm back and so it was brand new to me. And so I did the video yesterday to discover that because it was something new and exciting. So I've cleared a couple obstacles. I've got a couple more still clearing. Turn that up just a little bit. <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it. I'm sorry. Too funny. <laughs> I can't listen to them without singing their tune and without laughing at the comical um, animation. Oh my goodness. Too funny. Too funny. Okay, so that's the new Bone Island. These, This monster's called Dentures. Like dentures. Like false teeth. Um, anyway, pretty darn funny. Um, okay, so this is the new Bone Island. I'm lighting all the players who lit these torches for the first time. I'm going to uh, do a review of their islands. I may continue another review series later, um, but right now these are the only players I'm doing reviews on, so please don't ask me to review your island at this time. I'll try and open up another review series a little bit later. So if I go into my friends list to find Wabats, I have 2,000 pages of friends to uh, scroll through. Also, I, I just went to the very last page because Wabats obviously uh, starts with W, and I'm going to turn that down some more. Um, so if I scroll through here, I don't think I'll find Wabats um, in my list, but let's look. This takes a very long time to scroll through 2,000 pages of friends. Um, I do have... Oh. Let's look. So it should be here. So it's not there. 
Um, so what I'm going to do is go into my, um, I'm gonna log out, options, log out, change user, and I'm going to go into my guest game. Um, that's a game, my most recent start game. I kind of created the, this game or started this game so I would have an easy access to your island. I can just enter a friend code because none of you have this friend code. <laughs> and I could just enter it and then find your names pretty quickly. I've already added Wubbuts to this game. I don't really have a lot going on. I haven't really been playing this um, particular game. I have six games. <laughs> yeah, I have six games in different various stages of progress. Um, but so let's go into uh, friends and go to the end here and Wubbuts and visit Wubbuts. And Plant Island. We're going to go to Plant Island. Oh, I haven't looked at the island yet. That's very nice. Very nice. I like it. Um, let's do an upvote. If there were torches to light, I would light some torches. But the first thing that I see right away when I um, look at the island is the symmetry and it's so perfectly. <laughs> um, I really like that. Um, I do like the decorations are really nice. Great song. Great monsters. Even upgraded to the new crystalline castle. I kind of like the uh, T rocks kind of peeking out from the bushes. Kind of cute. So I always look to see if people are baking. That's one thing I say always bake. You know, baking is such a great way to level up your game. Um, so always baking, but it's a beautiful island. Enterprots are sleeping. They are noisy. They are noisy. But um, in order to keep their animation in the game, you can actually uh, tap on your monster and move it. You know, when we tap on the monster, we can... Um, move and then over here it'll have a, a slider bar that you can take their voice all the way down so you can adjust the volume of each monster's voice so you don't have to mute them you can just take their volume all the way down to the bottom so there is no volume but at least you still see their animation um working on a rare wabux have both wordos <laughs> Another sleepy nunch rot. Yeah, again, they are, a, it's a noisy monster. They are a noisy monster. And Gajub is so quiet. In my plant island, I tried to bring the volume down of most of my monsters so I could hear Gajub better. Um, but now that I've placed Crystalline Castle and I've brought all the monsters out of my hotel, um, I've probably drowned out Kajub again because I haven't adjusted the volume of the monsters that I brought out. But I wish Kajub was louder. Uh, Saphonic had a good idea. He's just placing a lot of Kajubs on the island to increase the volume of that song. Part of this, his, you know, to increase his sound. I think I, I think I'm going to do that on my plant island also. Is adding more Kajubs. I'm just looking at this little piece of what I see there. Kind of cool. Rare Ghast. Um, very beautiful. I'm looking right now for the Unity Tree. 
which I'm not seeing right off hand. Unity tree costs a million coins. Super important um, part of leveling up your game because it makes your monsters happy. If any of their likes are anywhere in the storage shed or on the island, it makes your monster happy. Um, if you don't have a unity tree, then your monster, oh, there it is. Oh no, it's not. Oh gosh, where is it? Hmm. There it is, right there, the little antenna, this thing right here, right there. Oh, phew, <laughs> really important, really important. Um, so when you get um, high enough in your game that you can afford to give up that million coins, spend it on a unity tree. You'll be so happy. You don't. If you don't have a unity tree, then all your likes for that monster have to be right next to that monster, which is kind of a logistic issue, and you can't have good symmetry uh, in your island and keep your likes next to your monster. It's impossible. Um, so, um, beautiful, beautiful island. Beautiful. Well, bets. Excellent job. I love it. So go in and give uh, Wobux a look. Well, bets. A look. Go check it out. Um, here's uh, friend codes here. Um, well, the friend codes I have so far. Wobats, uh, here is 15837133JJ. And it's Wobats, W U B B A Z T, Wobats. Um, so go in and like uh, Plant Island, light torches in the games for people if you have a chance to do that. Um, my friends here, if you see your name in the list over here, Please uh, give me uh, the game information I like. If you would like me to do a review of your island, if I don't hear from you, um, I can't uh, do a review. So this is the first one in my series of hopefully 10 reviews of my Bone Island Torchlighter reviews. I will talk to you guys soon. Love you. See ya.